You got a face on your phone. Oh, do you, what is up with you? You're always saying that we never go out. Yeah, I meant let's go clubbing in for a nice meal or something. <laughs> it's an housewarming party, it'll be fun. Since when have you got on with Anna? All right, yes, at first business wasn't too easy with them, but it doesn't mean we can't go for a drink. Who's going? I don't know, people from the village. Yeah, who? How do I know? Oh, please come, you can wear that dress. Oh. No, I'm not wearing that. All right. Oh, please come. I tell you, if it's a bore, we'll leave early. Yeah, I know we will. Hi. Hi. I'm just dropping this off for Nickel. It's a new selection. He thought Natasha might be interested for the shop. Yeah, OK, um, I'll take them through for you. Uh, while I'm here, I was wondering if your offer still stood uh, for riding lessons. Oh, right. Um, well, you don't mean now, do you? Oh, no. I've got to get back to the factory. I thought maybe after work. Sorry, I know it's short notice. But no, no, I haven't got anything else booked. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, great. Hello there. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and take these through to Natasha. <clears throat> Thought I might bump into you. I do live here. For now. I know. I know. It's just that well, it's all taking a bit more time. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here on an errand for Nickel. I'm not here to put pressure on you, if that's what you're thinking. I didn't mean it like that at all. You've been incredibly patient. And that's because I'm perfect in every way. <laughs> Don't I know it? I'd better go. My Larry were a dab hand at do's, knowing what to wear and such like. I don't miss the nagging and the constant reminders of what a useless article I am, but I do miss that. I'm floundering. It's not going to be a posh do, though, is it? Oh, well, they hardly think denim's appropriate. They do have a certain status, our new neighbours, you know. You're not going to wear a shirt and tie, though, are you? No, nah, no. I've got a rather nice tweed jacket. I got it ages ago. They do say retro is very chic, apparently. Yeah. I've got this dress that David wants me to wear, but it's a bit short, you know. I mean, what is it with blokes? Why do they always want you to flaunt your asset? <laughs> well, I suppose he wants to show you off. Well, like one of those trophy wives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't think of you like that. Yeah, better not. Going very well, of them. I'm glad to hear it. You get a chance to sample them tonight. At the drinks, too. They've ordered a couple of dozen of them. They? The factory lot. I assume you've been invited. No, of course. Yeah, no, they invited me earlier, but uh, I said I couldn't make it. Ah, yeah. Too busy, eh? Yeah, something like that. Excuse me. I want some of those biscuits, Jimmy's favourites. Oh, yes. Art attack, waiting to happen. But well worth the risk. <laughs> oh, and the right money, exactly. I suppose you'll be going with Councillor Metcalf, won't you? That'll be a thriller minute. Do you know what? I don't care what you say because I'm not listening to you. Oh, of course, because you're above all that now, aren't you? Yeah, you only sleep with people for money. See you later. See ya. Hi. Oh, hi. No, I wasn't expecting you just yet. Oh, I got off a bit early, so I thought I'd come straight here. You don't mind, do you? No, no. It's just that I usually meet people in the stables, that's all. Oh, sorry. Have I committed a breach of etiquette? No, no, it's, it's not that. Hello again. Hi. <clears throat> Hello. Um, I thought Natasha might be here. No. Katie's giving me some riding lessons. Really? No, you didn't mention that earlier. I didn't get the chance. Well, certainly looked the part. I wanted to make an effort. Oh, hey, what a surprise. Didn't know you rode. No, I don't. Not yet. <laughs> My new pupil. Good for you. Surprised you could tear yourself away from Jay, though. Sorry? Well, doesn't he need your help getting things ready for tonight? Well, as far as I know, that's all taken care of. We ought to be making a start. Oh, of course. I'll see you both later. Good. Have fun, then. You didn't have her down as a horsewoman. Oh, well, she's certainly taken to country life. <laughs> Why don't we follow her? See if she falls off the horse. <laughs> Don't be so rotten. Well, I was only joking. Promise. Doug, I'm looking for those bangers I bought last week. Eric loved them. Well, it wasn't the only one. We've sold out. We do have these, though. It's a brand new line. 
Locally sourced venison, 100% meat. Very exclusive. You're joking, aren't you? Charging that price? Yeah, actually, they're for the more discerning palate, so... There's no wrong with my palate, Bonnie lad. But we're talking about Eric's here, not exactly flaming royalty. <laughs> hey, come on, you. It's about time you were getting ready. I won't miss all the fun. Yeah, David's right. I mean, you want to give yourself plenty of time. No, I'm fine. I'm going to go straight home, straight in the shower, and then clean myself up, ready for the action. Of course, I forgot to say. I've decided to go. Is everyone going except me? Yeah, I mean, it was either a boring business dinner or uh, seeing you in a party frock. I'm sure David would agree. I mean, there's no contest. I don't mind if you want to get off. No, I'm fine. I, I want to finish these first. <sighs> you wouldn't find me stacking shells hanging around here if I had been invited. I'd have been there like a shot. Free booze, bulging wallets, plenty of totty. No offence, David. I'm fine. Don't be so boring, man, woman, man. Why don't you just buy your sausages and leave me alone, valet? No, look, come on. Right, I'm going. See you later. Do you want these or not? Looks like I haven't got much choice, doesn't it? 